okay, so you do have the main idea that Chamberlain is a fucking gold mine. We've made stupid amounts of money over there, right? So you, you got this part. So what I'm saying is we talked as a family, us together, right? And we came to the agreement that Chamberlain is so much of a gold mine that we actually want to fully take it. You get what I'm saying? I. Okay, so listen. So that's the first thing. Tyrell told me if there was ever, ever a chance of you guys ever paying to take Chamberlain back because of how much of a gold mine it is, it would cost you at least a mil to take that big piece of chunk back because we've, made, we've been making so much money. We, we can make easily over a mil in just a week more than likely. Like 20K in the last two days. And that's just him. So, what it boils down to is either a million dollars or you guys want to fully keep it. We're not saying you have to pay us a mil for your thing back because I, I will still have to talk with Tyrell and Mona and we will have to come to an agreement that we would actually want to send it back to you, right? If, if not, if that's not the case, I'm sorry to tell you, but we're going to end up taking Chamberlain and, I mean... With the amount of issues GSF has right now, right? And then try to hit us whenever you guys recoup, whatever the fuck you guys do. I don't care. But that'll be in the future, right? But I'm just saying, as of right now, you want to take over Chamberlain. I but So I'm going to tell you like this. When I think of the Corsac, I think of the boss. When I think of Chamberlain and OG Black, I think of us motherfuckers. I think of Borg, I think of BSK. Barrio is Vago. I'm... But under no circumstances, I'll tell you this right now, under no circumstances will we ever stop fighting for our neighborhood. I not care. You, We're all going to have to die or this war going to go on forever. I not care if we all have F and X's and we run down there just making a bunch of noise all the time. It's what's going to end up Is happening. It that's our neighborhood, bro. Like that's up. where we grow up. That's, that's everything that we know. We're not down here trying to take your neighborhood. I was told that, you know, Dex said that bullshit or whatever. He was joking, bruh. Because from what we was told is Drip said that he was going to take over Chamberlain. So Dex was like, fuck it. We're going to take over Corsac as a joke. We're not down here wanting to spray your block, bruh. We not even care about that. Before all this, we had a pretty solid relationship. Until Drew went around and did all that fuck shit. Okay, this a is lot, the issue, lot has happened, bruh. My family has fallen apart. You were right. I got a lot of boys dead. I got a lot of boys... Who not believe in fam the same way. And not just that, a lot of city don't look as the same way after what everything happened. After what Drew did. I understand that. Dex is auntie dead. We not even know who we could really trust, bruh. But I will tell you this. Everybody that does remain will always fight for that neighborhood. That's just the way that it is. That would be us taking over the cul de sac. You guys will always fight for that. You not give up, bruh. I mean, this this is the issue, right? If if it ever came to us taking form drive, right, I would understand because you guys still have a piece of land, right? If you guys ever try to come over here and take Covenant or something, I would understand, right? And if we were getting absolutely just rolled and we, we were running out of guns, running out of money, yes, we would just end up having to give you guys Covenant and eventually we'll go back. But if we were to take over... Uh, forum or you were able to take over Grove, I would understand as to why you would never give up fighting. You get what I'm saying? Chamberlain is just pretty much like a section of your turf. It's not your actual main turf. Your main turf is by auntie. But listen, you ever see 26 Mob on God and Twitter? That's Chamberlain, bro. We that's one of our sets. Yeah, that's one of your Chamberlain sets, Hill. right? One, one of your one of your ma many sets, right? That I that's understand one, you guys. That's, have. that's literally our main set, bro. Chamberlain is, is like, that's where most of our members are. Everybody that I know live down there, bro. That's that's their houses. That's everything. That's everything that they know. Drew, little brother, died in the fucking middle alley, bro. He died in the middle alley. Yeah, bro. That's why I'm saying, like this, this is all we know down there. And I promise you, bro, and I'm not trying to, like, be, like, some big dickish or anything here. But even the littlest motherfucker from Prospect hang around even 
is always going to fight for that block, but we're not just going to give it up. If it's a money term, then yeah, we could probably talk about it. And we could probably make something happen. But if it's just like there's there's nothing but you guys just want it and that's it, then it's never going to go like that, bro. I mean, so there has to there, be something is, we could do, bro. There, there is possibilities for us to actually take over that term. But, I mean, that'll just be... Uh, at that point, it'll be a long-term battle, right? And we'll see how it ends. Nobody can really predict the future. But as of right now, like I said, from when the three main OGs talked, our main focus at the moment is to take over Chamberlain. We're not backing down until we fully take it. Like I said, now that you came and you actually had a civil talk with us, I will have a talk with Mona and Tyrell. And I will see if they're willing to put up, you know, the million dollar shit that I was talking about. And I understand you guys might be a little broke or something, so you guys could pay like, like I don't know, five hundred k every two weeks or something, and you, you got it. You get what I'm saying? But until you actually fully pay us, it'll be ours till then. So, hold on. So what? What's to say, bro? That once we pay it. You motherfuckers just not stay there and just get a million dollars no, on top of keeping no. the neighborhood, bro. No, we won't. We won't play you like that. Well, how uh, am I supposed we'll, to know, we'll, bro? We'll give, we'll, we'll give you our word. Like, I don't know I, I, how. But listen, I like that ass. How honest, else bro, can I prove it to you? Like, well, I've been told six different terms in this war, and all of them have been broken. It's been flipped twice. around. It, it's been twice. It's just everything. I know. Okay. I not really even know what's going on, bro. That's why it's like, first, I was told that we keep it in Chamberlain. And then next thing I know, motherfuckers get robbed and shot on OG block. And then I was told something like it's Southside or something, or we're not getting each other solo or something. And then I go to the gas station and I get fucking shot for saying something like I fuck somebody's mother or something like that. I was there just to buy papers, bro. And just to talk to one of y'all motherfuckers. I seen Drip hold up. Yo. Look, I understand that y'all are some war grizzle veterans. I get that, bro. I respect the fuck out of you. But at the same time, bro. A lot of people were on my block not built like that. So this shit gonna take time. It's gonna be hard. But we will always fight for that neighborhood, bro. Mo, I want you to know that if you're fucking, if this cul-de-sac every morning woke up fucking green, bro, you wake up and all you see is green, I know how you would feel, bro. Because I see that in my neighborhood all the time. I wake up and you motherfuckers on my roofs, bro. Like, see, I literally... the difference between us and you guys, no offense, we wouldn't let that shit happen. Ain't nobody going to be standing well, on my roof unless you're in that's, that's actually the, that's that's, that's the issue, right? There. Nobody would do that to us, right? You guys, uh, but you're already having a shit ton of issues. You talk that shit to us, you get hit. your boy airs out all your issues, too. And then involves one of our boys in your guys' issues as well. Listen, I'm not, I'm not talking about the semantics. I know what Drew did was fucking stupid. I know all that, bro. But what I'm trying to say is... We never gonna stop, bro. So, it is what it is. We're gonna have to figure it out. If you guys want to figure out some money thing or something, maybe I could holler at Dex. Maybe, you know, you guys could talk with him. Something. But That's the thing. Before all this shit happened, we tried to have a talk with Dex. He just kept running his mouth and then ended up just punching Draco. We had to knock his ass out again and just fucking left him there. Because he well, just this... wouldn't have, like, hear anything we had to say and wouldn't fucking speak. This is a common thing that's wrong with my family. And that's why... Drew tried to do what he did and tried to, like, I don't know. But Drew got motherfucking problems, too, bro. None of them, both of them say the wrong thing at the wrong motherfucking time. And that neither one of them can politic properly. Because Drew want to throw fucking gas on every fight that he ever see. And Dex is an OG, OG, old school gangster who not know how to check his attitude in certain situations. But at the end of the day, they my family. And I going to stand by them and back them up. But I'll be goddamned if they're not going to listen to something that I say. So I would tell them to, like, be a little smart about things when they come down here and try and fucking talk, bro. Okay, well, listen, Ty. Whatever your family did, they did. Just know there's consequences for what they do, and this is one well, of the I consequences. Man, I know. You know, you know, right? You know. So, like I said, as of right now, we are still planning to take over Chamberlain, and we're not giving up on it. And the I... longer this goes, the more pressure we're going to put. You understand this, right? It is what it is. Okay, if I, I if I could if I talk to Tyrone and we could work out some money deal, I'm just saying a million is just a starting price. You gotta understand, Chamberlain is a fucking gold mine. The amount of money you make there, we we might ask for two mil. We don't fucking know yet. All right, I had to work some numbers out with Tyrone, but that's not a hundred percent. 
I'm just telling you that's just a thought. So don't get it through that like it's gonna happen. I'm just saying it's just a thought and it's not concrete yet, all right? As of right now, we're still taking Chamberlain. I well, as of now, we still just gonna do whatever we can to get our neighborhood back. Okay. Well, I mean, like I said, you could go back to your boys, you could relay what you want. You could tell them, you know, listen, they 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 might be willing to pay, you know, for, for us to pay them for our for our block back. See what they think about it. If they're down, you tell us that they're down and we might do it. We might give into it. You never know. All right? Yeah, bro. I'll relay the message. All right, homie. Best of luck over there. I'll let you give you a little ride back. No, I got it, bro. I'll walk back. I'll go on my... I see you later, purple motherfuckers. Laters, man. Yeah, yeah, he's gone, he's gone. All right, These well, motherfuckers gonna die on Chamberlain. Like I've said, as of right now, we're not backing off of Chamberlain. Uh... Because Tyrell does not want to. I've talked to Tyrell about it. He needs that the amount of profits we can make over there is kind of insane. And then if we ever eventually actually get a fucking flag, we can start tagging up our territory and shit. More than likely, what we'll do is, I don't know, I'll have to talk to Tyrell to see first what his plan wants to do. But if anything, we'll tag up the cul-de-sac. Then... We might just move straight into Chamberlain. And then after we're done with Chamberlain, we move, might move to Maze. But I'm not fully sure yet. We might do uh, cul-de-sac, then Maze, then Chamberlain. We don't know. I'll have to talk to Tyron Mona about it. Yeah, but it's how, just, how just no. Right uh, pretty good. Uh, if we ever do get a flag, uh, more than likely, just to make sure the gas station has money, I'm going to ask like 20K from each motherfucker. Like They have to put in some money towards the gas station. Just to go towards sprays and shit, whatever the fuck we need to buy, right? Yeah. That's not right now, but I'm just saying, if we ever get a flag, just be ready to pay 20k to the gas station and contribute something into I, the gang. I say at least 30k, to be honest. All right, you heard it, 30k. Yeah, I don't want to hear working you. on it. So as soon as we get that shit, whenever we do get it, we have that money there already. Because I mean, look, bro, we have what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bro, how many motherfuckers we got in this, bro? 30k from each one, bro, will be so much money. Straight into sprays and we'll be able to fucking tag up even more shit, right? Hopefully we could turn Chamberlain purple. You never know, right? Shit, that would be fucking nice. I ain't gonna lie to you. But yeah, boys, as of right now, we're still on. I don't give a fuck what you rep. I don't give a fuck about your set. Not repping that purple, you signing your death. I pull up on Chamberlain Hills. And you know I do that for the thrill. Huh. All of my diamonds on what?